bit we're going to do is we're going to remove the fan. Um, well, we're going to remove this entire section here uh, just to make sure everything's okay and the gaskets on the top are all good. Um, if you're going to do this, I'd recommend if you're going in to do the service with it, probably have to hand a new gasket, a uh, burner gasket for the top. Uh, we can see this particular one has been, it's obviously in crap condition, you see it's been, it's all broken down. So the way you do this, there's, there's, there's a nut which sits, um, bear with me. there's a nut which sits on here, okay, so once again, obviously boil it isolated, all safe, gas off. So you undo that uh, nut there, and then what you want to do is pull the connections off the fan, and the earth off the fan and then this entire section here well this won't move but this entire section all of this is connected all the way down to the gas valve so you undo your knot on your gas valve too now effectively what you can do now is is take the entire fan assembly out so on here, this will sit, I can get it back in to show you. So when you take that nut off, you'll have this plate, and this is a locking plate. This locks everything, this locks it back in position once you put it back in. So you remove this plate once you took the nut off, you remove your electrical connections off the fan. And then, see if I can do this one-handed. You turn the entire thing, Anti-clockwise. Let's just uh, pop that off there. So turn the whole thing, and you'll see the lugs. See the lugs? Let's lock it in. So you turn the whole thing like that. Okay. Now you can see we pull. We pull it towards us. Right, now all you need to do is lift a bit of a, bit of a wiggle, a bit of a wiggle, go right there, and that off of there. So now we've exposed the entire, the top of the heat exchanger and the whole fan assembly comes out. Now, what you need to check on these when you take these out, and you need to be very careful when you're putting it back in, is this gas tube here. These are so prone to splitting here. Okay, so you take the entire fan, check all your tubes as well, make sure everything's all okay, there's nothing nothing wrong with the, with the unit so that's easy to get out it's a lot easier than it looks when you, when you first see it it looks difficult it really isn't it's a case of just undo it taking the, fa the fan connections off taking the gas union off taking the nut off removing the little locking plate and pulling it twisting it anti-clockwise and then just lifting it out so that's the burn removed, okay? So I hope that's helped you. We'll move on to another next vid.